Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Page Setup dialog box allows you to make changes to your document's layout. It consists of three tabs, Margins, Paper, and Layout if you're using 2000 and XP, or four tabs if you're using 2000 or 97, Margins, Paper Size, Paper Source, and Layout. In either version, you bring up the dialog box in the same manner. Simply choose File, Page Setup. So if you're using 97 or 2000, it still would be File, Page Setup. The dialog box just has a different number of tabs. Now on the Margins tab, what we set here are the margins for our document. And you can set the measurements for the top, bottom, left, and right margins to the length that you desire by either typing the measurements in the boxes provided for each or by using the spinner arrows at the right end of each text box. You may also set a gutter margin and choose a gutter position, either the left or the top. Gutter margins are space on a page that's devoted for binding. So if you're going to be binding documents, you may want to add a gutter margin. Now also, in this section, you can choose portrait or landscape printing in the orientation section. And that's only going to be in the Word 2003 and XP. If you're using 2000 or 97, that's actually going to be on the paper size tab in the orientation section where you choose portrait or landscape. So this was moved during the different versions. Also, in 2003, you can choose for multiple pages whether they should be normal, mirrored margins, two per sheet, or a book fold. In the preview section, you can choose whether to apply it to the whole document or from this point forward. That's useful if you wanted to apply it to just a section of the document. Now in 2003 or XP, you can click the paper tab to select the size of the paper onto which you'll be printing the document from the paper size drop-down. You may also type your own width and height if you're using an irregular sheet size. In Word 2000 or 97, this option was set on the paper size tab along with the orientation. But you do have the same options. Also, in the 2003 XP version, for the paper source, you can choose which one of the trays of your printer, if you have a multi-tray printer, you will pull the first sheet of your document from, and then for all the other pages, where should it pull those from? And that's going to be only if you're having a certain type of printer, like a laser printer, with multiple trays in it. In Word 2000 or 97, the same setting was what you were selecting on the paper source and so it really didn't get much usage. Now on the Layout tab, you can set up the vertical alignment of the pages. You can also set line numbers and page borders here as well by clicking Line Numbering or Borders. Line numbering would be uh, numbering every line in a document. Um, for example, if you were analyzing a document for an English course, borders simply allow you to apply a fancy page border. Now, whenever you had made your options for your page setup, simply click OK to apply those to the document. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.